Hey everybody, this is Dylan and Brendan at Lasco Ford here. We've got one of our Cactus Gray Badlands Bronco Sports behind us, and one of the things that we get the most amount of questions on is, how, how do I remove the top? Is it easy? Does it require a lot of work? And I've got one of our good service guys here that's going to kind of show us through the process just so everyone can be a little bit more educated. Of course, we have Taylor behind the camera. Everyone say hi. Hi, Taylor. Hi. Um, so without further ado, let's just jump into this. Here we go. Run and lead the way. Starting in front of the vehicle, on the top of your roof rack, you've got two T30 bolts. I want to go ahead and remove those. And after you get those removed, go ahead and lift up on the cover and push it towards the front of the vehicle. So it comes off pretty easy, you'd say? Yeah, it's not too bad. And then underneath that, you have two more T30 screws. Go ahead and remove those as well. Now, I know you're using a power tool, but could you do it manually? Yeah, definitely. Actually, the Broncos come with a toolkit included that has everything you'd need. Oh, awesome. That's good to know. And then moving towards the rear of the vehicle here. That's your rear rack. You can go ahead and pull out your Bronco key and pop this little cover off here. Then once you get that removed, there's also a triangle bolt tool included with your Bronco. So that's the tool you were talking about? Yes, sir. Okay. And then up inside there, you have a little triangle bolt. You can go ahead and loosen that. And then on the top of your rack there, you've got another T30 bolt. Go ahead and remove that. And pop this cover out. Maybe. There it goes. And that's all you need to do on that side. Okay, and cool. Repeat the same thing on the other side. Awesome. Passenger side of the vehicle, repeating exactly what we did on the other side. Go ahead and pop that cover off. Take your triangle tool. Ford tool again. Comes right with the vehicle. And just in the can. Makes it pretty easy. I don't have power tools like he does. So good for Ford to include that. <laughs> and then right on the top of that. Got one T30 screw. Loosen it. And then up at the front of the vehicle. Got the same thing as the other side. Go ahead and loosen your two thirties on the front. Pull them out. And then again, you're lifting up on the cover and pushing towards the front of the vehicle. And finally, two more T30s right under that. That's it. Wow, pretty simple. I like that. Well, we're going to pause it here really quick so we can not damage the vehicle and remove this roof rail, and then we'll work on the rest of the vehicle. See you guys in one minute. One. And after you move the roof rack, you want to put these paint match covers here where your rack was mounted. First, install the black plastic. And you have two 10 millimeter nuts that go on the studs on the vehicle. I'm going to go ahead and tighten those down. Now, after you get those snug, you want to take your paint match cover. Mmm, cactus gray. So you bolt it on, then that just snaps in? Yep, that's it. Nice. nice. And then starting to remove the hard cover, here at the front of the cover, you have two T50 bolts, one on either side. Go ahead and pull those out. And it's just this little bracket right here? Yep, that's all it is on the front. Nice. Then moving here to the back of the vehicle. On the inside, before you remove anything else, you want to go ahead and pull your wiring harness plug. It's just one simple tab. And it's Push just down. on this one side, right? Yep. Just Pull down that tab and pop off your washer fluid lines. And then if you move these up in front of the pillar, there's two spots on the interior that these plugs actually connect right into. Really? 
Yep. See, I did not know that here. Let's take a peek. Wow, I have no idea. Plugs right in. Yep, and then after you do that, you have four T50 screws on either side. You want to go ahead and pop those out. You got three in the back. And then your fourth one is right up here at the front of the cover. You just pull all those out on either side. Oh, it's really not that many bolts. No, you'd think there'd be a lot more, but they've made it easy on us. Well, that's good. And that's all there is to it. Simple enough. So now we're ready just to take the top right off? Yep. Awesome. Right off. Awesome. Give us one second, guys. We're going to remove this top just super carefully. We'll be right back with you. Hey everybody, uh, we successfully removed the top here. Just requires two people. We want to make sure we're being delicate with the vehicle, but as you can see, comes right off. Just lift it right up, put it down on the ground where it's going to be somewhere safe and not damaged. And here it is. Honestly, I really, really like the fact that the cactus gray rails are painted on here. It just kind of adds that, I don't know, nice look to the car that it might not otherwise have. Uh, personally, if I were to get one of these bad boys, I would always rock it like this. Cause I mean, honestly, without the top, it looks so much nicer. And, and I think that's really one of the things that people want these vehicles for, to be able to enjoy nice summer weather like we're having today. I mean, God, it's gotta be mid seventies, maybe eighties. And I'll tell you what, I'm excited to take this thing. Uh, thank you from everyone here at Lasco Ford. Of course, we got Brendan behind the camera who helped us out a lot. So make sure you guys leave him good comments down below. Uh, we look forward to speaking with you soon. Have a good day, you guys.